I request Dr. Rajkumar Ranjan Singh Ji, the Honorable Union State Minister for Education and External Affairs Government of India, to bring the entire universe together, Vasudhav Kutumbakam, and uh, we request him to kindly release our three documents also, which we shared initially in the presentation, and to address the global audience also. Ladies and gentlemen, we yeah. present, join me in extending a very warm welcome to Dr. Rajkumar Ranjan Singh Ji, the Honorable Union State Minister for Education and External Affairs Government of India. Good morning. Namaste. Uh, at the very outset, I am expressing my happiness to join uh, the uh, this meeting team of uh, NRI, uh, Indian corporate and education expert from all over the world, and who have joined the 29th annual con convention of ICSI uh, inst uh, institution. Chamber of Chamber for Service Industry, which is focused on education, skill, educators, youth, and for growing tourism energy. We all know that the services sectors all over the globe is changing so fast and demand is very high. So uh, with this few words first, let me uh, launch the uh, materials which you have supplied to me. First one, Sikhana. This one. I want to launch this one first. And also, I am happy to launch this. Lastly, it's very happy to launch this one. Uh, Dr. Gulshan Sarmaji and others distinguished from different parts of the globe, particularly Narulaji, Priyaji, and Vijaya Sastriji, and others who just now give comment and support and suggestion of the uh, Indian education and their willingness to support to India. Because of my throat, I cannot speak properly. <clears throat> Please bear with me. Uh, see, we all believe that after 1986, uh, the Indian education policy, till then there was no education policy, only uh, national education policy 2020. This is the uh, comprehensive and most uh, pertinent uh, system of education to revolutionize the whole educational system of the India and also to revivate our ancient wisdoms and philosophy of our ancient India. So in this context, I happen, uh, I have a chance to join Parvasi Bharatya Divas uh, in, the, in the indoor with the prime ministers. And I saw all the enthusiasms given by the Indian origins, and they are looking back to our own, their own country, though they are settled in their Karba movie, but they always show their patriotism to India. And that is why in our foreign affairs, our strength is fully supported and built up based on the Pravasi Bharat. They are our embassy. They are our satellite looking towards India about the dark spot and about the black spot and they have to identify it and they will create all these things. But our honorable prime minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, always give trust to our Pravasi Bharat because they are well exposed throughout the globe and they know where is our deficiency, where is our lacuna. So that's why we built up our strength through uh, the full confidence with our uh, the diaspora all over the globe. See, uh, I'm very happy 
as you have expressed that I, my discipline belongs to geography. But one time, Northeast India is a prison of geography, prison of geography. But after, when Modizi assumed the prime minister, it is a growth engine of the whole nation. So now the landlock geographical prison transform into land link with the Southeast Asia and furthermore. So, uh, so we are using our geography as a, uh, the platform for our growth. And perhaps all of us will aware that education is a state subject uh, in India. But however, very recently, our prime minister has reformed it as uh, giving the constitutional protection that is right to education for all the citizens. And that is our commitment. And this is also linked with the sustainable development goal of the United Nations. So we are giving all the facilities and we are trying to fulfill the national commitment through this National Education Policy 2020. In this National Education Policy, we are proudly saying that this policy provides affordability, accessibility, and accountability. And also we are preparing the job employment, employability by the 21st century. So with all this concern, we are preparing our education policy and implementing right from 2020 till now. So during the pandemic, perhaps all the world was grief economically and everything, but education is just like a blood circulation in human body. We cannot stop during the COVID. And that's why a lot more innovative ideas were coming up that's why we are preparing now digital platform. Even we are hoping to establish digital universities. Of course, there are few examples are already exist in India. Perhaps all of us well aware that Indira Gandhi National Tribal uh, National Open University (IGNU) and also University Grants Commission Countrywide Classroom. They end distance.